everyone. I'm Ian McCarthy of Lifting for Life, and this is the 20th installment of the Lifting for Life Q&A series, in which I answer your questions on video in more or less than five minutes. And today's question comes from someone on Instagram who asks, can you really effectively work cheat meals into a prolonged deficit, and if so, are they superior to refeeds? So first of all, I think it's important to distinguish between that which can work and that which is likely to work or usually works or is ideal. Certainly there are folks who integrate cheat meals into their cuts and ultimately get as lean as they want. I think that if you were to take all of those people and really look at that block of folks, you would have a disproportionate uh, representation of the genetically elite and or those on drugs, and we want to be really careful not to generalize on that basis. And I think that one is likely to be more successful uh, utilizing refeeds rather than cheat meals. And to defend this proposition, let's back up and ask what it is we're trying to do here. I would say at least we want to improve performance, improve performance, uh, both during and after the refeed or cheat meal. We want a psychological break, and we hope to generate some kind of hormonal response which is ult ultimately beneficial when it comes to sustaining fat loss. Now, given what I've seen in the literature and my experience, I think the best way to do this is to increase your energy intake roughly to maintenance for a day to two days, I mean, even longer really depends on the context. Most recently, I've had the greatest success consistently with two day long refeeds, moving people roughly to maintenance, primarily by increasing carbohydrate intake. And I think that that achieves those objectives of, again, improving performance, both during and after, uh, allowing folks a psychological break, and I would say likely generating some kind of hormonal change, which again is beneficial to fat loss. Um, I think that that's more speculative. I'm unsure of what exactly goes on. The typical explanation is an elevation in leptin, which probably does occur, but is probably also transient, and I don't think fully accounts for what it is we see. The issue with using cheat meals instead of refeeds is that they're simply overkill. Typically, folks will overconsume carbs, and I'm actually more concerned with all of the extra fat which usually comes along with cheat meals, which it's overwhelmingly going to get stored. So to really simplify this, in using refeeds, my thought is you take two steps forward and then pause. Your, your total body fat is likely not going to decrease during the refeed, but you're also, I think, very unlikely to gain body fat if the, the refeed is properly designed. And certainly you can make mistakes in that process, but in time you'll figure that out. Whereas in the case of a cheat meal, it's more so two steps forward, one step back, when you don't need to take a step back. And if you really push it hard, which is very meaning that you, your cheat meal is just agree, like grotesque, which is very easy to do when you're dieted down, that can turn into two steps forward, two steps back. Or, a, a depend, again, depending on the extent to which one cheats, this could even mean two steps forward, three steps back. I mean, I have honestly heard of folks quote-unquote cutting and regressing as a function of these massive cheat meals, which really turn into five, 7,000 calorie binges. So again, can that approach work? Absolutely. There's no question there are folks who do that. They get in the shape they want, etc. cetera. Uh, but as a general recommendation... Um, I would go with refeeds because, again, you have a greater degree of control over what's happening and you do exactly what you need to do and nothing more than that and you don't do something which actually causes you to uh, slow down in your progress or regress temporarily or if you just really, um, if you're really over the top, you actually can regress overall in the long term. So there you go. Thank you so much for your time. If you found the video valuable, please like it, comment below if you have any questions about this topic, questions for future videos. Share the video for those people who you know, like eat the 12,000 calories over the weekend, and we will see you next time. Let me know what you think of this sickening outro right here.